In this video, we're gonna look at a scam which is directed exactly at you. We also explore how you can create beautiful NFTs out of your pictures and how much it costs and if you should do it or not. And if you stick with me until the end, there's a surprise. And all that right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So great to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. So we start right away with the scam and it's crucial that you know about that, how it works so that you are protected because these scammers, they have you right in the crosshairs. And I can tell you everything about it because I went through it from the start to the point where they laid open their plans. So what happened? About a week ago, I got a message on Instagram, which was really nice. Hello, I love your astrophotos. They're very unique, beautiful, and adorable. Who doesn't want to get such a message? It just warmed my heart. And it continued. I would like to have some in my collection. Are they for sale? Now, I did not really believe that I could sell my pictures, but I was curious and I wanted to know what's behind it. So I asked, for what do you need it? Commercial or private use? And a person on the other side answered, I really love them and I want to add them to my NFT collection. And I want to buy six of them. Okay, interesting. I heard to this point, obviously, as you have about NFTs, but I never created them, I never bought them. So my idea about NFTs was, was a little bit foggy, but it was an interesting opportunity to look into it. And so after studying a little bit about it, I was going back to the person. And I just said, you know, how about a hundred bucks per picture? And the person was like, oh, I don't want to be greedy. I'll give you 2000 bucks per picture. And that's the moment where I knew that it's a scam because nobody in the whole world gives you more than you ask for, right? So I still wanted to know how does this scam work? So I went along with it. I was like, great, wonderful. What do I have to do? And that's when the first hit came. He was like, okay, you create NFTs from your pictures and for that you use this platform boommint.com. So I investigated that and as far as I could figure out, this is a made up platform. And I believe if you enter there the data, your credit card number and everything, they can simply suck it off and rob you clean. So I obviously wanted to outsmart him. So I said, I don't feel comfortable with this one. Can we go with OpenSea.io? This is a platform with a high reputation and I know this because this guy here actually has his pictures on there. So it was a little bit like a piece of chess and I waited for the answer and the guy on the other side was like, mah, 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 mah. okay, if you want it, do it, fine. So obviously I was very much interested in what the next move from the other side would be. I went to OpenSea.io, I created one NFT with the price of the $2,000 and I told him, it's there, you can buy it. He was absolutely gonna buy it. A few minutes passed and then this came. He was like, oh, my transaction got declined and I got this here and only you can solve this. So I was impressed that he had a plan B also for this platform. And the joke here is that instead of using the official help desk, they ask you to go through WhatsApp to a platform Obviously, that would be of the scammers and they would actually ask for your wallet information, your credit card information and so on. And this way they would rob you clean. So when it comes to this scam, just be warned that if somebody wants to buy your picture over Instagram or another social media that you do not really expect people to ask you for buying your picture, that's probably this scam. And with that, I would like to go to the second part of this video. Because what I actually wrote to this scammer is, thank you. Thank you for making me discovering and exploring NFTs. I always like to experiment with new things. You probably already realized that. And so this opened up a new world for me, which I haven't had any clue about before. And so I wanna hand now this knowledge over to you. 
So first of all, for the ones who haven't heard of NFTs or don't know what it is, it's actually pictures which are encoded through blockchain in a way that they're unique, that they're verifiable. So you practically make out of a picture a currency, something of value, something unique which nobody can fake. And these NFTs, they're traded through platforms like a piece of art is traded at an auction. But the good part with NFTs is that you do not need an expertise to verify that it's not a fake. It's simply in the nature of how it's encoded, of how it's actually validated through the blockchain, that it cannot be a fake. Now, the NFTs they had about two years down the line, their hype where everybody was actually talking about them, where the press was talking about them. And the interest actually has mostly faded. But that is actually not a bad thing because usually hype is never good. Hype overvalues the, the benefits of something. It stretches the boundaries of an application to a level where it's not healthy. Which also means that these NFTs, they were highly overvalued in the past. But I've read in the meantime a lot of articles and the consensus at the moment is that the NFTs, they will not go away and they have their place for making pieces of art tradable, verifiable and hence protecting the intellectual property. And from that point of view, I found it interesting that actually astro photography could be something where this makes sense. Because there is actually a substantial effort behind the production of each and every astrophoto. A lot of equipment had to be bought, a lot of specialized knowledge had to be acquired, and a lot of time has to be spent. And so to give you really an idea how easy it is to create an NFT, I want to show it now on the computer, and then you have an idea if this could be something for you or not. So let's go now to the computer. Okay, and here are we at OpenSea.io. As stated, this is one of the largest and very safe platform to open NFTs. And as I also already told you, we have here a very prominent member, Astro Backyard, Trevor Jones. He actually has all of these NFTs in his collection. So, but what we now want to show is how we can actually open a new profile. And it's actually in a very unusual way because usually what you now would do in on a site is you would actually open a new profile and your email address and stuff like that. But that's not how it's done here. Instead, what you're actually doing, you go directly here on create. And now what it, what it tells you is connect your wallet. Now, if you already have some cyber currency like Bitcoin or Ethereum and so on, you might already have a wallet. And all you actually have to do is you have to click on it. And then it gives you here a QR code. And you click with your wallet on it and it will connect. And that is all. And then you're actually registered for this platform. If you don't have a wallet yet, just for actually registering here simply, download such a wallet you can choose any i choose coinbase as an app on your android phone or your iphone you have to enter a few things to register and afterwards you can scan it here and these two things are connected and once you have done that you're logged in and you see actually here how much cyber currency that you have in your wallet if you have already any for nfts you need to have ethereum and if you click on here, you actually see again here your Ethereum and for NFTs where you need the new version of the Ethereum, you can exchange it right here. Now your question might be, do I actually need cyber currency to create an NFT? And the answer is yes. So any tutorial which will tell you that you can do that for free, that's not true. And the reason is that whenever you do something in a blockchain with Ethereum, for any action, there is some gas money needed. This is in principle the money that's used for driving all the computers, the processes, the bandwidth within this cyber world. This is not a lot, but it's more than you would think. 
So if you want to create one NFT, so you need to create first a collection, I will show you that, and then an NFT, buy about Ethereum for about 60 euros or dollars. If you want to create three, four, I would say buy about Ethereum for about hundred dollars, then you're on the safe side. So once you have done that, you go here on create and you go here on mint an NFT. Now first you need a collection. So when you go choose a collection, you say create a new collection. So that's now what you have to do first. You have to enter here a logo. You give your collection a name, a token symbol, whatever you want. You go here on Ethereum. And once you have done all that, you can create continue and then actually costs money. Then it costs gas money to create this collection. It's in principle a digital contract that you sign to do this collection. And that's the basis of all. Once you have the collection, you go back here to create an NFT. Then you can choose your collection. I have one. You enter here your picture that you want to make an NFT out of. For example, this one. If you have a rectangular picture, don't be scared that it just shows you here a square picture. It still has in the background your whole rectangular picture. This is just how it will be displayed here, displayed as a preview, but your NFT is your whole rectangular picture. You just give it a name. That will be the name under which it is listed. You can enter here the supply. Think wisely. This is something you cannot change anymore. So you can make this very unique. You just leave it at one. Or you can say, this is something that's very popular and I want a lot of people to have this NFT. You can enter here a uh, hundred, for example, or a thousand. But obviously, the more the number, the lower the price you can get for your NFT because it's not as exclusive anymore. So remember, once you enter here the number, you cannot change this anymore. Afterwards, you write in here the description, when it was shot, um, the equipment you used, um, what it is, the, the object and so on. So this is where you bring the story to the picture. And then you can enter here an external link, for example, to Astrobin and the trades part you can actually for our purpose ignore. Once you have done all that, you click on create. Again, that's the moment when it costs money. So in my case, for creating the collection, it cost me around $25. And for each and every NFT, it cost me around $15 gas money. So when it's processed, then it looks like this here. And then you can actually open a listing where you enter the price. You can either do a fixed price or you can do an auction. So it's a little bit like eBay. So you can enter a base price. And you can say for how long the auction should take. This does not cost you anything because this happens now on the platform and the platform does not charge you. They charge you when something gets sold. Then they get 2.5% of whatever the price is. But you can now as many times as you want, you can actually put it for sale until it's actually sold and that doesn't cost you anything anymore. And that's actually already it. So it took me from having no clue about NFTs until I actually have learned the whole thing about OpenSea, about Coinbase, about connecting to everything, about creating here the NFT. It all together, it took me about two hours. So it's not nuclear science. And it's quite interesting to, <laughs> to have now an NFT. Hard to explain, but... I think it's quite cool. I hope this was interesting and I might have given you a new inspiration what to do with your pictures. But now to the surprise. And well, you probably could have guessed it. When I was at it, I actually created some NFTs and I created four of them of the pictures that I like the most. And each of these NFTs only exists once. And I do not intend to do that in the near future again. So if you're interested how my NFT page looks like, how the individual NFTs looks like, or if you're interested in actually acquiring one of these four, the auction runs until Christmas, then please have a look. Link is in the description below. See you next time and clear skies.